Oh, what's up guys? This is Bubba TV 24 and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm in a new RNG game. Ever since I did the one, I'm getting nothing but recommendations, but this one was actually recommended to me by my nephew. And he was playing this and told me about it, so I'm checking it out. This is called Tycoon RNG. And this is an RNG game that is just quite literally a tycoon. The whole purpose of this is to essentially do rolls down here at the bottom and you're gonna get things like droppers you're gonna get things like upgraders you're also gonna get things like uh, the collectors here at the end that are all going to be different types of things and they're all going to give different bonuses and stuff like that to your items so I'm gonna walk you through my tycoon currently and then I'll show you guys how you play this isn't gonna be a very long video by the way, happy 4th of July to all my Americans out there. That's one of the reasons why this video is going to be a little bit shorter because it's the 4th of July and it's going to be a busy day and that sort of thing. So here we go. We're going to start here. I'm going to show you the stuff that I have, how you upgrade things and how you play. So essentially right now I have this guy right here and this is called the Digital World. And this is a dropper that is, as you can see, dropping these green guys and some of these droppers have different like stat bonuses and stuff like that so this one right here just is a very fast dropper but it tells you like the size of the ore the efficiency and then a little bit of info about it i have this guy right here which is a silver mine it, anything that drops out of this one is going to be vulnerable to acid so if i have an acid thing later on it'll probably just destroy that ore which is what i don't want these sort of golden blocks right here you have to buy with robux somebody just uh won something this right here is the contamination this one says an extremely slow dropper that excavates from the horrors of the depths it has says it's time vulnerable but it adds a magnetic bonus to it so if there's anything later on that gives uh times bonuses to magnetic that would be something that would affect that later on this one right here is the this is an upgrader called the forbidden breeze it adds putrid and aired and it upgrades your ores with nothing but the worst air extracted and so that's gonna give it some bonuses as well it's also gonna kind of infuse these ores with different properties and so these things are going to be useful later on here's a dropper right here called crystal mist um, adds polished we got an upgrader here called the microscope which actually shrinks the ore down over here we have the bubblegum stockpile this makes the ores bouncy which really just upgrades it by percentage and then here i have two aurora tundras so these right here if i had fire these would remove the fire and then give them a bonus so it would actually give them a bonus to uh, any fire that is removed which is pretty neat this one right here is fueled it's uh the steam engine don't really know what that does um i don't know this one right here is the moonlight temple it destroys or if it's acid vulnerable oh crap adds polish and adds over time so this isn't good that means that all of my silver ore that is being dropped is getting destroyed in here oh i need to go replace that asap so let me show you how to do that since we're here so this silver mine right here all of my silver ore is getting replaced uh so this right here is time vulnerable so these are the different ones that I have here. As you can see here, it says ore value, the drop rate, and then also you can see the efficiency, how much you're getting per second. So this one right here says it is acid vulnerable, and then this one's acid vulnerable, so we don't want to do that. Let's do another contamination. We're going to add that one. So this one is just a regular contam or an overclock contamination. It is a bit slower, but it is also not acid vulnerable so any of the silver ore i was mining before was getting destroyed if it came in here so that's not what i want to do so okay those are all the items and to get to where i'm at you can actually as you make money click your start location here and these are how you upgrade your actual tycoon so as you make money you will go in and be able to upgrade your tycoon level the more tycoons though, that you level up the more spots and slots you will get you can also upgrade your luck you can also upgrade your walk speed your luck burst that kind of thing as you saw i just picked up a block off the ground and somebody's got another thing uh the blocks on the ground are items that you can get right here in your inventory and these can be used in the crafting of auras which i have here for a luck aura which is gonna give me extra 30 percent 
luck at the cost of one walk speed. And that's fine. So, okay, now that we've done that, where's the RNG portion of the game? Well, the RNG portion of the game is down here. You can roll to unlock stuff. We got the heated dropper. We'll see, it's one in 62. If I were to look at it, it's gonna be down here at the bottom. It's not gonna be very good, so we're gonna go ahead and delete it. But we can just auto roll, and the reason I'm not auto rolling is because it makes this noise constantly, and I don't want this going all the time. But as we unlock new things, uh, also these blocks right here, you wanna pick them up. Uh, but as we unlock new things, eventually, once we get really good things or stuff that might be like a pretty decent rarity, we will get a screen that'll pop up and it'll give us like an animation and stuff like that and it'll let us see what we've got. And then we can take those things and add them if it's really is better than what we have. So that's kind of the entirety of the tycoon. And then what you're doing is getting money to essentially come over here and upgrade everything. I would like to upgrade my luck, but I can't really do that just yet. Need a lot of money, I'm kind of at that stage. Also, you will find blocks on the ground as I kind of have been. And those blocks are important because they will go into your inventory. Right here is drops and these things are usable. You can take them and do stuff. What does this do? Cube storm, cool. Uh, and so those are going to give you boosts like extra money and stuff like that. But if you don't want to use those and you want to save up a little bit, you can actually come over here to the middle island here. And right here, down here, is a guy who will craft auras for you. So aura crafting, uh, obviously you want to start with the luck one. So these are things here. So we need 27 luck auras in order to even think about that one. I don't know how many auras we can get at once. If I can find another luck block uh, and equip and maybe craft another luck aura, we'll see if we can equip two at a time instead of just one. All right, I think I have enough. Let me find old dude in the, the cave again. I think he's around here. Let's make another luck aura. Boom, another crafted one. So, okay, we can only equip one aura at a time. And it looks like you can only equip one luck aura at a time. So we would need a lot of luck auras. I'm enjoying this a lot. I think this is a lot of fun. I also think it's kind of irritating. I haven't actually gotten a good drop yet. I've been waiting on a good one here and it's Oh, we got a golden steam engine, okay. Here we go. So this is what happens, you get a, oh, hydrogen tank, one in 13,000, nice. I don't know if this is actually better than what I have. Sweet, oh, we got something, what'd I get? This one's red. The forbidden breeze, golden, ooh, 51,000. Oh, snap, it's the best one that I've got. 43, adds putrid and aired. We're gonna put that at the end there. We got some good stuff, and that's where I'm gonna end it for today. Happy 4th of July to my Americans. I should say United States Americans, not North Americans, just uh, United States Americans. Happy Independence Day to my American peoples out there, and hope you guys are staying safe. Don't get hurt, don't injure yourself. Eat a lot of food, celebrate our country, that kind of thing. And I'll see you guys next time. I've been BubbaTV24, and I am signing out.